Hi everyone and welcome to this video. So, I've not done an update on solar, or particularly my solar panel or power system for quite some time, so I thought now is a good time. So over the winter I didn't really do anything on this, I had too many other things to do and quite frankly it was too cold anyway. So I did very little on this. Anyway, about a week or two ago I picked up some work on it amongst other projects and um, yeah, it's uh, it's going well. So after the winter, I thought, well, the first things I'm going to need to do is just check it all over. So I think I'll do that now. First thing I noticed is there was some corrosion on one of the batteries, but not the rest. The rest looked fine. As you can see here, I've checked the fuses, and the fuses are all fine too. So there is another thing I need to check and that is the water level. So I'll just check this now. By the way, if anyone knows what the tool is called to open these, let me know because I'd very much appreciate it. At the moment I'm using this and basically it's it's a very, very cheap spoon and um but it works. But if anyone could tell me what the proper tool is called that would be great. Just check the water level. And it's fine. So that's good. I'll check another one, say another random one. Uh, let's try this one. Oh, that's a bit weird, isn't it? Anyway, that's also fine. Maybe a little bit, a tiny bit low, but nothing to worry about. So, I'll probably need to top these up. But only by a tiny amount, maybe 5mm each or something like that. Okay, so that's that done. Now, the battery level's fine, so I thought now I'd show you the system again and um, let you know some changes. So, where should I start? Well, this wire here is the one that comes from solar and basically it goes into this little control box as I call it with that little control box there is a Hall effect sensor which I've checked and it works there is a vol simple voltage divider there which um, gives me the current voltage going into the system and there's a it's a light sensor but it's this particular part of it is a voltage divider too there's a light sensor outside and this is connected to it so I've got three sensors there and basically those sensors go to um, a little microcontroller which I'll show you in a second so I've also got this as well to switch solar off to isolate it completely so from there it goes to the solar controller which of course is there charge controller sorry and then that goes to the batteries then so down here are the batteries as you can see um, this switch here goes from the solar controller to the batteries uh, these are the main uh, terminals to the batteries and um, at the moment there's a big gap there, you see those two bolts the bolt there and a bolt there they should be together but I've taken it out because there's supposed to be a sensor there, a current sensor, to let me know how much current is actually getting drained from the batteries. And for some reason that's acting up, so I need to investigate that and I'll put it back in. Again, there's a voltage divider, which is just there. And that voltage divider lets me know of the current battery voltage for my sensors, so there's another two sensors there. Then, move up here after the inverters there's, an, uh, there's a Hall effect sensor there that one is broken as well, I don't know why and there's a voltage divider again and that seems to be seems to be okay but we'll see so all in all um, the winter seems to have, well something seems to have damaged two sensors um, maybe it's me fiddling, maybe not, I don't know but anyway I'll replace those everything else is pretty much the same so I've got the two inverters, which are controlled by these two, 
which I've hacked into so that I can see that switch there so that I can control that by using a relay so yeah that'll be that's quite cool and I've tested it out and it works so I can control these inverters from a relay which means that I can control them from a microcontroller and that brings me on to the microcontroller so I've got all these sensors that come through here, come through this little box, all these wires and they go into this and this is an Arduino Nano but it's actually a sampler it's a microcontroller but I use it for a sampler to sample all the sensors every so many milliseconds and then when that's done that job it goes down the wire here to a microcontroller and the microcontroller is a node MCU so I flashed this node MCU and of course I flashed the node MCU oh sorry the Arduino Nano and it's all working up to now so you see the LEDs there they're currently glowing these LEDs are currently representing two relays one relay is to switch solar on and the other relay is to switch the inverter on so I've actually got well I mentioned just earlier about the two relays there's a relay going to go here and a relay behind this they're actually the wires are actually there I'm going to replace these LEDs with those relays oh it's just gone off for some reason in a few seconds that will fill with data it takes up to 30 seconds actually there we go so current solar voltage 135 volts and I'll just check that wherever 135 volts amperage from solar 220 milliamps and here it says yeah, 0 0.2 amps. Battery voltage 29.1. Okay. The sensors say 29.18, so 29.2 really, but anyway. Now battery amperage that's broken. Load voltage is currently no no load voltage. And there's no load amperage, that's because the um, inverters aren't on. And they aren't on because I want my current sensor to be working first. Light light works but it's not a normal scale I've just I've just put a scale from 0 to 5000 5000 being really bright and 0 being pitch black and then AI on solar on and inverter 1 on so AI means um, it's, it's whether this little computer here is controlling it or not basically so I can switch this off and it just sort of overrides it I've made some software way where the AI could be off and you can override solar on and inverter one on so you could use the software to remotely connect to this and uh, switch things off remotely it's on a website but again I'll show you that another time but yeah I'll just step back so you can see again but all in all everything's working fine so that's that and I think I'll just go on the shed roof to show you the panels but there's not really anything changed but I'll show you anyway <coughs> there's some lead there okay so here are the panels I painted these frames last year it's actually gone really sunny, sunny all of a sudden. So there's one panel. That's oh, really hot as well, and it needs a clean. There's the other. And the other. So the panels are all pretty good. Connections all fine. Underneath all fine. Bolts all fine. So everything's fine. 
The way I've got them directed is interesting. I've got one direct, one over there. One towards the sun. Put them all over the place. Well, not all over the place, but in a couple of different angles, you know. So there we go.